Statement by Karen Killeen and Gideon Kutanda on the new Citizens Climate Assembly Act announced by the third Vice President of Spain, Teresa Rivera. On the 29th of September, after 33 days of hunger strike, during which we were demanding a meeting with the third Vice President of the Government and Minister for Ecological Transition, Teresa Rivera, we were, we were finally offered said meeting, which was also attended by her Chief of Staff, Marc Ponce. For around 15 minutes with the Vice President and a further 45 minutes with her Chief of Staff, we watched as they nodded and showed that they were, were aware of the gravity of the situation of forecasts of between 200 million and a billion climate refugees and of the scientific community's warnings of a more than possible human extinction before the end of the century. As they were aware of the seriousness of the problem, we attempted to convince them to stop listening to the markets and rather to heed the scientific community when taking action on climate change. And we asked them, rather than making decisions for the benefit of a privileged few in the big corporations and banks, to make decisions for the common good of the people who had voted for them. Finally, we spoke about the Citizens' Assembly, the Citizens' Climate Assembly Act, which the Vice President has just announced with great fanfare as an example of participatory democracy. A Citizens' Assembly that is going to be launched with very serious defects and which is not fit for purpose. If with this assembly they want us to believe that they intend to listen to the voice of Spanish civil society, then how is it that during the meeting on the 29th they flatly refused time and time again to allow our experts in citizens' assemblies to come up and talk to them? How is it that when we propo proposed that they delay the implementation of this law so that they could hold regular meetings with civil society via the platform of citizens' assemblies, which encompasses more than 30 civil society groups, they flatly refused to hold any such meetings? How is it that they have not even responded to the allegations that this very platform presented to them back in June? When we informed them of this at our meeting, we were told that they would see to it that we would, we would receive a response. However, they have launched their law before responding to us. How is it when we suggested that at least they should form a citizens assembly comparable to those in the rest of Europe, impeccable in their methodology, like, like the one that took place in France? They closed their minds and said that theirs was better when in fact it is not at all representative of the Spanish population. The Ministry of Ecological Transition has not listened to the civil society. The very civil society they now claim they are going to listen to via this Citizens' Climate Assembly. Let's bear in mind, the Citizens' Assembly project was launched back in January 2020. They have had almost two years to listen to civil society and to ask them to participate, yet they've not done so. Moreover, if they finally did listen to two of us from Extinction Rebellion who were granted a meeting with the Vice President, it was after 33 days without food and after several phone conversations with proposals for meetings, all of which sought to do nothing more than deactivate our protest prior to the face-to-face -face meeting with the Minister, Teresa Rivera. They went so far as to propose a meeting for the 11th of October. That would have been after the launch of the Citizens' Assembly Act and when we would have been 44 days without food. In doing so, they were obviously trying to get us to stop our hunger strike before the meeting, thus weakening the strength of our protest, while at the same time being able to respond to our demands with an answer, a policy of fait accompli. It is for these reasons that we have no qualms in asserting that this Citizens' Climate Assembly Act is going to be nothing more than a farce, a simulation of citizen participation and participatory democracy. And in reality, they are going to do whatever they see fit to benefit the big multinationals and the banks. 
disregarding the opinion of the scientific community and the will of the people who voted for them. In other words, they have turned a deaf ear to all attempts by civil society to actively participate in the creation of a citizens' assembly, whose purpose was to listen to civil society. What a paradox. At least as members of Extinction Rebellion Spain, we made our position clear to them once we saw that they flat, flatly refused all our proposals and suggestions. Then you will face us on the streets, we told them sadly, but with determination. As we said during the hunger strike, paraphrasing Gandhi, true strength does not come from those with power. True strength comes from those with an indomitable will. And in Extinction Rebellion, we have shown that we have an indomitable will. If we want social and ecological justice, we are going to need an ethical insurrection of civil society. As José Saramago, the Nobel Prize winner said in his interviews, and as outlined in his essay on lucidity, a non-violent insurrection. See you on the streets.